I'm going to give you some context first before I help you fix this situation. So I had this TPF file. I was learning how to mod Elden Ring, and I tried to open it with paint.net. And in doing so, um, it somehow registered all .exe files as paint.net files. And needless to say, paint.net can't open .exe files. Well, this completely bricked absolutely everything. I can't open up a command .exe um, because it's an .exe. I can't open regist reg the register editor because it's an .exe. And just all in all, it's it's pretty much fucked. Um, I, I wasn't able to, to do anything. One of the good things, though, that was happening is I already had Firefox open, so I didn't have to rely on an .exe for Firefox or anything like that. Um, but I'll go ahead and tell you exactly what to type in um, in order to get to the website. And if you don't have Firefox open, trust me, just get on another computer, get a flash drive. This is the absolute safest, fastest, bestest way ever. And I'll put the link in, or I'll actually put the file in the description for you. Type registry, editor, and exe files won't open. Should be the first one. It's from, uh, I think, what, a Microsoft thing or something? But regardless, it'll open. And then scroll down. This guy was amazing. Click on the link, and it'll take you to a downloadable website. Skip step one or option one. Go to option two. You don't have to read any of this. Just go to exe, and then it'll be a download link. So go ahead and click the blue letters. And th this is all in case you don't, you know, you don't trust the the file that I'll give you. But let me make this bigger because I know how hard it is to see files on other people's screens. Um, but you're going to click that and you can put it on your desktop. Just put it somewhere and then right click it and it'll have a merge button. Now go ahead and merge it and it'll bring up an option. Just OK. Yeah, we know the risk. Our computer's already fucked up, so just click OK. And this is where you're going to just have to trust the process. You're going to have to restart the computer. And you will not have Firefox or whatever open. Just trust it. And it'll restart. And it'll look like this. And now you'll see that all the exe files still look like they want to open at paint.net. And I also couldn't remove paint.net because, well, that's part of an exe process. But go ahead and click on an exe. In this case, I will click Firefox. Um, and then the magic just fucking happens. And trust me, I know <laughs> you guys were probably looking in 2011 and t 2012 for fixes for this. And they're all like Windows 7 and shit. And it's just not helpful. Like, I this is, this worked. And I, I can't, I literally, I was verbally like just relieved. <laughs> if you guys were verbally relieved that you didn't break a computer... Uh, feel free to subscribe or like why would you subscribe to somebody who's just helping you with one little problem but you know sometimes i run into these problems pretty often and i i'm uh i'm really good at finding these things <laughs> but yep so it, it worked for me and uh i hope it worked for you see you later